Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I cover nostalgic, obscure, or otherwise strange content. Today I'm fulfilling a request that I got a few months back. Uh, I did a video where I covered a instructional video for families who are setting up their, I believe, Windows 98 computers? It could have been Windows 95, but I can't remember. But anyway, in the comments of that video, and I'll have to find the comment and put it in in post right here, thank you future me for putting that in post, someone recommended that I check out a video that was a Windows 95 video guide starring Jennifer Aniston and Matthew Perry from Friends. You know, Friends. And I haven't watched it, but I've had it, like, saved aside to talk about in a video for a while now, ever since they commented that on the previous video. And I'm finally getting around to talking about it, because it sounds hilarious. It was described to me as, like, part sitcom, part instructional video, so I'm really excited. Welcome to the Microsoft Windows 95 Video Guide. Thanks! In section one, you'll get more than a few laughs as we present the world's first cyber sitcom. Oh boy, a cyber sitcom, I'm so excited. They'll be taking you on an adventure in computing that takes place in the office of Microsoft Chairman Bill Gates. Stop telling me about it, just show it to me. Along the way, they meet a wacky bunch of propeller heads and are introduced to the top 25 features of Windows 95. By the way, this feels like a good time to bring up that clip that I love from Friends where Chandler is like bragging about his super awesome 90s computer that's definitely not super awesome anymore. 12 megabytes of RAM, 500 megabyte hard drive, built-in spreadsheet capabilities, and a modem that transmits at over 28,000 BPS. All right, everybody, who's ready for a cyber sitcom? So I told her, I'm not made of money. You pay for the band. Your son's getting my daughter, and for pretty cheap, too, I might add. So on this very random note, we start off with, I'm just going to call them Rachel and Chandler for sake of time. They're entering this uh, Microsoft top floor. Taskbars and email and shortcuts, oh my. Taskbars Task bars and, and email and shortcuts, oh my. Taskbars and email. I like that they're still saying it, like the bit is still going on. Ah, the Wicked Witch Maybe. of Windows 95. Okay. Mean. Uh, this is Jennifer Anderson. I'm Matthew Perry. We're here to see Mr. Bill Gates about a possible starring role in the video guide to Microsoft Windows 95. Oh, it's meta. They're playing themselves, trying to get cast and the thing that they're in. He asked me, his loyal assistant, Bernice Keppelman, to act as host. So the assistant takes them to what I'm only assuming is Bill Gates' office, because I heard Bill Gates be name dropped. I kept asking the boss to uh, clean up his windows. He took my advice, of course, I was talking about the windows in his office. Uh, she makes a pun about windows. Oh. Stop with the clapping. It was just turning the lights on. Oh, and Bill Gates has a clapper. Good for him. Wouldn't it be funny if I had a clapper and then all my lights went out? Anyway. What do you know about the system? Oh, I, I'm, I'm still uh, mastering Pong. So she's like, have either of you used Windows 95? And they're like, no. And she's like, here, how convenient. I'm going to show you how to use Windows 95. Look, I meant for her to sit at the keyboard for a reason. Uh, Windows 95 is goof proof. No, Matthew Perry, you can't learn Windows 95. Only Jennifer Aniston can learn Windows 95. This is Bill Gates' computer. I mean, that is like using Wayne Gretzky's hockey stick. I feel like there's got to be a different computer that she could teach them on other than Bill Gates' actual computer. There are four things you ought to know about Windows 95. It's easier, it's faster, it's more powerful, and it's got great compatibility. Remember when Windows 95 was the fastest option available? Any key. Mm -hmm. So I could basically fall on this thing and it would get started? Mm -hmm. Okay, now what's that button? Don't touch that! Whatever you do, stay away from that button. What the hell does that button do? Does it have the nuke codes? Now, getting back to the venue. It's the best I've seen since they closed Lindy's in New York. You know, if they're gonna have a bunch of corny jokes in here, they could have a laugh track. That would at least be more on brand. I don't know if that would make it better or worse. Well, what happens when you like had the old Windows and then installed Windows 95? That's a good question, honey. Okay, and where is the button that instantly kills anybody that calls me honey? Are you gonna actually answer her question? When you upgrade from Windows 3.1, <clears throat> old program manager groups are transferred automatically to this menu. Oh, there it is. Oh, well, that's easier than changing dry cleaners. How did they rope Jennifer Aniston and Matthew Perry into this? I mean, they're both great, I love them, but how did they get roped into this? Test bar? Is that anything like a Snickers bar? Does that have nougat? What is nougat? Mmm, nougat. I want nougat. 
I saw that Mr. G had his personal five-year projection in Excel, our top-selling spreadsheet software in the document menu. So what a power move to call Bill Gates Mr. G. Well, the X will allow you to close any program or document. Ooh, the X will allow you to close out of the document. Such an outdated thing to not know. It's adorable. Let's get into my computer. Your computer? No, Bill's my computer. I thought Bill was your boss. I'm very confused. Now, open the folder called Bill's Poetry Workshop. Bill Gates just writing poetry in his spare time? Nice. Oh no, he's just writing Twas the Night Before Christmas in a Word document. Was the night before Christmas and all through the warehouse, not a single piece of Microsoft merchandise was stirring, not even a mouse. Oh. Let's rename it... We wish you a Perry Christmas. Perry, because that's his name. Just name your files and folders any way you like. You know, I remember losing entire essays in college because I couldn't remember their file names. Oh, he said in college. I thought he said in Tosh, like he had like a like a jazzy nickname for Macintosh. Anyway. I've lost entire relationships that same way. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't want to go there. I feel like that would be a more interesting conversation than the Microsoft. The recycle bin is like an enabler for the indecisive. And undo is the way we were of computing? No Streisand. We talked about that. You ain't on Streisand, Perry? My grandma's gonna kick your ass. She loves Barbara. Ah! Oh gosh, who's that? I don't know, but uh, could he be any larger? He said the thing. <laughs> he said the Chandler thing. Uh, could he be any larger? Also mean. I know Windows. Oh! <laughs> Boris is the true Windows expert at Microsoft. The window washer is the brains behind the operation? Nice. He is a large, large man. That man must be on a plank of steel. Jesus, you didn't have to go in so hard, guys. Bill owes us lunch. What do you feel like? Chinese? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure I'm, I'm in the mood for any of the eases. What? Chinese food is great, though. So blowing past the part where they just pull up a document on Word with a menu and check off items to then charge to Bill Gates, like the actual Bill Gates. Mushu pork. I really want mushu pork now. Because moo, you know, not good, and shu, that doesn't taste good at all, but mushu together. They weren't paying the writers enough money, were they? Why don't you fax it on through to the restaurant? Okay, so now they're learning about the revolutionary new system of faxing through your computer. Punch in the word fax, right? Yes, we are that lazy. Hey, whatever works, man. Okay, so they just faxed off their order because Matthew Perry's very, very good at Windows 95. Good for him. Kendall, I know about oh my. Harry Boris is in the house. Well, we don't have any CDs or flappies. <laughs> flappies. I believe that's called floppies. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Okay, you were there. You heard her say flappy, so I'm not crazy. Oh, he broke the fourth wall. I didn't know he could see me over here. No, oh, now we have printer installation wizard. Well, that's more inspiring than printer installation ogre. No, you guys. Were Jen and Matthew here against their will? Truly <laughs> impressive. For that, Boris, you can stay and have a bite with us. But they already ordered without him. Chipster at Microsoft.com. To Chipster at Microsoft.com. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. What was it? Chipster at Microsoft.com. So it's kind of like issue-specific party lines? Is she naive or what? No. Couldn't have said it better myself. Hell yeah. Good for Jen. I'll log on with my name and password. I'm obsessed with the sound of, like, the old clicky keyboards. I love that sound. Very random, I know. Hey, why don't we send some email over the internet to my buddy Tim? He'd freak if he knew we were here. All right, so let's send an email. Let's do it. Windows 95 style. Why don't you come over, bring the new CD and video. Okay, now that we have that CD and video on the way, what else can we do? Jennifer, do you like cats? Uh, no. Ah, oh, then you're gonna love this. You don't like cats, lame. God, oh boy, an entire gallery of cats owners photos. <laughs> do they have an audio tour with this? I like that canonically in this universe, Bill Gates just has a bunch of cat photos on his computer. And your, your food's here, you're safe. Oh, please don't be a racial stereotype. Please don't be a racial stereotype. Please, please. Okay. I'm getting Southern California. Column A always compliments column B. Protein on the right, carbs on the Is it just me or is he doing an accent that's not landing? You ever try any right clicking? Most right-handed people use the left mouse key as their primary tool. Okay. Since right-handed people rule the world with the left side of their brain, we are trapped 
inside their rigid rules. I want to be like, yeah, I hear you, because I feel uh, vaguely represented as a left-handed person, but I don't know what he's saying. Right-clicking is the end result of all that. Oh, he's just teaching them what right-clicking is. Okay. There are quite a lot of people surrounding this computer right now. Then create a shortcut. Oh, no. No, there are no shortcuts. There are no shortcuts in this world. It's a very, very long, long road. Not in Windows. <laughs> Life is cruel and complicated, except for Windows 95. Why did they use that slogan? All right, now I hear this replaces the file manager. Well, I hope you found him a new position in the company. Oh, the jokes are so bad, I keep having to rewind just so that I can understand them. Okay, now if memory serves, you couldn't do this in the old windows without opening a bunch of file manager windows. I like how they're dragging their own older product to sell you this newer product. We are rocking the desktop. Rocking the desktop. Not to be confused with the jailhouse rock or rocking around the Christmas tree. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, I'm sorry. With Windows 95, you can pretty much impose your will on your PC and the world. I'm not even sure how to dissect that one. And also, what a desktop. <laughs> Whoa! Where's Gates? This kid just comes skateboarding in. They're like, where's Gates? And everybody's just like, oh my god. Phil's not here, Johnny. We don't want no trouble. What has this kid done? The most feared video game warrior in the territory. Okay, so I guess this kid has been made violent by video games? Yeah, well, nobody's leaving until somebody's man enough to play a little 3D pinball with old Joystick Johnny. You're on. <laughs> a girl. Joystick Johnny doesn't believe in girl gamers, I guess. Weird. Bring up 3D pinball. The game that he's so hardcore about is pinball? That's amazing. It's a new game in Microsoft Plus. That's just one there is. God, I used to love pinball. <laughs> the kids say? Hey, the band's here! Tim, oh. you brought the band! I did? What band is that? Okay, so I looked it up uh, because this does have its own IMDb page and um, apparently it's, this is like a fictional band because they just credit a bunch of people as just playing random rockers. So, you know, if they were a real band, I bet they'd be pretty cool. Oh, totally digital. Not that you were invited, but you could use Windows 95. Yeah, what is Bill Gates going to think when all these people are in his not apartment, I almost said apartment, when all these people are in his office when he comes back. Although this is how I picture Bill Gates' apartment, just, you know, an empty room with a random Windows 95 in the middle of it. Oh my god. So they're having a rager, I guess. And you know what, Maddie? Oh, she called him Maddie, that's cute. I think I'm gonna press that red button. What does the red button do? Oh my god. It annihilates everybody out of existence and into the Windows 95. What do we do? Leave. And then they just leave. They're just like, sucks to suck, bye. I said floppy. Yeah, you said flappy. No, I didn't, I said floppy. Yeah, Jen, everybody remembers the flappy disks. Now that you've had a few laughs, let's review what we've learned about Windows 95. I've had no laughs, but okay. That was the world's first cyber sitcom. What do we think? I'm not thinking anything good. What's the other half of this instructional video? You'll see a brand new desktop in Windows 95. Okay, so now they're just straight up giving us information because I guess even they know that they didn't give us a whole lot of valuable information in that first half. They did not have us in the first half. This desktop is so basic, it looks like all the plain desktops that they... Desks top. Desk tops. Sorry, I can't talk. They use the uh, very similar interface in all the early Nancy Drew PC games. And I'm just getting nostalgia. This menu replaces Program Manager in the old Windows. Okay, so as much as I like to dunk on the world's first cyber sitcom, at least it was entertaining. This is just giving me a bunch of facts now. I like this comment underneath the video. It says, thank you very much. I'm now able to use my new Windows 95 effectively. Let's get back to the taskbar. Oh, they had a rough time. This is just like the, the other instructional video for old 90s computers that we covered before. They had a rough time trying to uh, capture the computer screens with the old cameras. Let's take a look at the new window design. In the upper right hand corner is the new Max and Min feature. To minimize this document, click on the left box. There's so many basic things that are like new and improved upgrades now that it's Windows 95. That's adorable. A box will open up allowing you to type in the new name. This is a real time saver when you are working on two versions of the same document. 
document. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Sorry. One of the most anticipated advances in Windows 95 is support for long file names. For a lot of people, this feature alone is worth the price of admission. What? I'm just barely too young to have to remember this gripe, but like, was the long file names really that big of a deal? That made it worth the gajillion dollars that you were gonna spend on this computer? Because you know these computers were expensive back in the day. The recycle bin is also new to Windows 95. Ooh, I guess that would have been rough to not have the recycle bin, yeah, that would suck. Everyone is talking about multitasking. It's all anyone's talking about, you just go into the work, you know, the old work, the place where you work, <laughs> stand around the stereotypical hypothetical water cooler and you just, that's all everybody's talking about. Send and receive faxes directly from the desktop. Okay, we already know how to send a fax. This is all just stuff they already told us. Did they have that little confidence in the world's first cyber sitcom? Look at the screen. Look at your screen, then back to Bill Gates, then back to your screen, then back to Bill Gates. To access the Microsoft network, you'll need a modem and a phone line. Ooh, dial-up alert. Once you've signed up, anytime you want to surf the net, double-click on the icon. I love when people in the 90s said surfing the net. Browse around. You never know who you'll meet. Browse around. You never know who you'll meet. Why did that sound, like, intimidating? <laughs> By the way, shout out to all the internet friends that only see each other online. <laughs> One of the major features of the Microsoft network is the ability to send and receive electronic mail or email. This was in the time period where you were still calling it electronic mail. That's super vintage. I know when people hear me say that, you know, stuff from the 80s or 90s is like old school or vintage, everyone including me wants to throw up. But you know, it is now, guys. It was a long time ago now. You can adjust your background, load a screensaver, Changing the desktop, for some reason, my brain just made the jump to when YouTube used to let people back in the day, like, have the whole, like, customizable themes for their channels, and, like, I really wish that we still had that going on. I would love to have a customizable theme on this channel instead of just a banner. It's like MySpace. I wasn't, I wasn't allowed to have a MySpace back when MySpace was around. Do you know that MySpace is still, like, a thing, and there's, like, this really small but dedicated group of people who who have MySpace. There was like this campaign going around on on um, TikTok that I saw like last year where people were trying to like bring MySpace back. I feel like we should bring MySpace back, you guys. Maybe I should start like a MySpace page now and it'll be like really on brand for me to like only really be active on MySpace uh, because I don't really use any other social media that that frequently. All right, I'm getting off track. We're talking about Windows 95. There are many wonderful desktop themes. Very cool. I particularly like American 60s. American 60s is quite a look. Multimedia support in Windows 95 makes games fast and cool. Ooh, I would have been okay if the game was fast or if the game was cool, but it's fast and cool. Sorry, I'm being an asshole now. It supports full screen, full motion video. No more postage stamp size screens and cheesy 16-bit movement. Yeah, nothing cheesy here. We wouldn't want that. Not from the people that made the world's first cyber sitcom. That's what they're calling it, you guys. Isn't that a weird thing to call it? What are the system requirements for Windows 95? Oh, I have a different narrator now. Hi, new narrator. What hardware upgrades are necessary to take advantage of many of the benefits of the new operating system without upgrading your machine? What are the requirements for upgrading hardware? There are no requirements for upgrading your hardware. Okay, then why didn't we just cut that out of the video? Okay, so they're just fielding a bunch of questions that I guess they get asked a lot that aren't super substantial. They're doing like a rapid fire. How does Windows 95 connect to the internet? But then I, we get to this part, which I love because it's about how to connect to the internet, which is just like something that we all do so frequently now. So I love in like these older instructional videos where people are like, wait, how do I get on the internet? Like if it was this hard to get onto the internet nowadays, everybody would just self-combust. Some computer networks allow Windows-based computers and Macintosh computers to share files, printers, and electronic mail. Oh my god, can you imagine if we couldn't share emails and files because one person was using a Mac and one person was using a PC? Like, if uh, that would cripple society nowadays. Like, we've advanced so far past this, it's so interesting. We're zoning out because we've gotten past all the funny stuff and now it's just listing off, you know, techie stuff stuff that just doesn't apply anymore. Will it be on both CD-ROM and floppy? Don't you mean 
Flappy? How much will it cost? About $100. Oh, it was $100. That's actually less than I thought it was going to be. Well, it's just for the files, right? This isn't for, like, the computer. This is just for, like, updated software. That sucks. Time to do my money converting again. Huh, and it's actually closer to $200 because of inflation. Thanks, inflation. How do I add programs to the top of my start menu? A lot of these questions, because of, you know, computers still being so new, basically it just boils down to, hey, how do you computer? How computers work, Bill Gates? I'm asking Bill Gates specifically, no one else. See, like, a lot of these are really boring, and I'm like, I know I'm gonna skip over this stuff because there's nothing to really say. It's just a bunch of outdated software, hardware stuff. But then there's these where it's just like, how do I put a shortcut on my desktop? Like, it's such a boomer thing to not know how to do, but no one knew how to do it back then. This was the brave new world of cyber sitcoms. Oh, and then it just dumps us into credits. <laughs> Wait, there's an after credits scene, like Marvel. It's tough to find harmony when you're all alone. Okay. Microsoft Office for Windows 95. It's an entirely new suite of software applications from Microsoft. Oh, okay. Let you access the full power of your software. What? <laughs> so they're like, hey, look at this guy playing saxophone really well by himself. This is supposed to make you want to buy our software. <laughs> Now that you bought our software, he has a whole band of band friends. They do band things together now. Okay, I think that's like the real, real end. Microsoft, where do you want to go today? Away from this cyber sitcom, honestly. Anything but this cyber sitcom. <laughs> All right, that's the end. I'm really glad this got sent in because it's very strange. Uh, this is definitely obscure. And I'm just like, how has my life taken me to this point where I'm now covering this video. It's a little existential crisis that I'm having, but I think, I think that was pretty fun. I hope this video um, is enjoyable to watch in the end because I'm just very confused. And yeah, whatever. This is from 1995. No one knew how to use computers. Maybe it's kind of boring to dunk on that, but this is so interesting. I didn't know this existed. I'm very glad that I know this existed now. So hope you are glad to know that too. I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Everything you do to support this channel means the world to me. If you're a fan of nonsense, God, I can't talk today. If you're new here and you're a fan of nonsense, maybe consider sticking around because I post nonsense all the time. And remember, my name is Avery. I'm a YouTuber if you say so, because thanks to you guys, this is technically a YouTube channel. Bye.